So Screenplay Award grew out of conversations that we had with Sky Studios during lockdown about the best way that we could support freelance creatives and particularly those whose voices we felt had been historically underrepresented and unheard. So we launched an award to seek two northern voices from underrepresented communities to give them the space to tell the stories that they wanted to tell. Throughout 2021 um, we've been developing uh, a stage play and a screenplay at the same time. Over the course of this year they've been working with us, uh, Box of Tricks, on the stage play and with Sky Studios team um, on the screenplay. So I'm Sarah Talbot, a working class writer from um, South East Northumberland, town called Ashton. And I heard about the scheme uh, through Twitter, so I put together an application form and to be honest I was so certain I wasn't going to get it that I just rushed through it and sent it off just kind of on a whim. So this w ran alongside me growing up and getting to a point in life where I was kind of questioning what happened with my grandad, who took his own life, and why that happened, and the circumstances around his life, and then comparing it to um, when I was at school and, and um, a couple of people died by suicide at school, and comparing like the generations and why it feels like it's getting worse. I was finding out more information, and other people were talking to me about things they had experienced. Um, so it just kind of grew from that and I thought, okay, I really want to write this and kind of get that. To understand it more than anything and then kind of share that story. Uh, so my name is Conway McDermott. I am a trans writer based in Liverpool. Uh, I had emailed uh, Box of Tricks some of my work earlier in the year to be like, hey, I really like what you do. Let's make friends. So I was keeping an eye out and sure enough, they did post about it on the internet and I did apply. <laughs> it's a combination of like a lot of kind of groups that I'd, a lot of near misses of people like that basically. Like, uh, I didn't, like I was a teenage goth who was like gender divergent and queer and kind of looking for a sense of purpose. Um, and I absolutely had friends who like, thought we were vampires and like would be like oh yes well I'm a natural witch and like a lot of a lot of good normal people and maybe a few like you know I could see the potential for abuse in those like places where you go to escape from reality particularly if you're maybe in a group where reality doesn't feel quite fixed yet you know what is reality if you are living as a girl but you desperately want to be something else I think particularly after the last two years to actually you know put theatre back in front of a live audience it's just been such a joy